Dropped on a massive ice field, this team of scientists are here to better predict how fast glaciers are melting. We have jumped, literally jumped off a cliff. We are finding that the melt is far exceeding in some cases what we had expected. Since 1965, scientists have been monitoring the health of Place Glacier. And like many others, it's a glacier that's dying. Over time, this material has just been accumulating at this surface. Most of it is likely sediment and rock, but because the glacier is in an unhealthy state and it loses more mass than it gains, this surface is just getting darker and darker. This darkening of the surface is the focus of his research. You can't see it, but a plane equipped with sensors is flying over the sky measuring the reflection of light on the ice. We're, we're flying like we're mowing the lawn over top of this, this glacier at a given height. And that laser is emitting a pulse of energy that's reflected off of the target, in this case the ice, and it re is returned to the, um, to the aircraft. It's a race against time to collect data at the same moment. Scanning. And that's good. We can characterize surfaces, see if it's like a clean ice or a dirty ice, or you can also use that to see um, how much light is absorbed and then how much it transfers into melt. On this August day, a thin layer of smoke blankets the sky. Forest fires have been scorching the province since the start of summer. This is one of the effects that we're looking at. That is, how does that wildfire smoke affect both the surface properties and in some cases, people have also considered how the wildfire smoke can change the amount of sunlight coming through the atmosphere. So in some cases, if it's really dense smoke, it reduces that energy coming in from the sun. There's still a lot of unknowns that the team is working to figure out. But what's clear is that the surface is darkening. If you start to darken the, the surface of snow and darken the surface of ice, it absorbs more energy. And as we start to darken these surfaces, we start to accelerate the melt from these glaciers. Glaciers act as a natural water reservoir, storing huge amounts of fresh water. Especially during times of warm, dry conditions, during drought conditions, when that seasonal snow is lower than average, but also when it's melted earlier in the season. That's really when these glaciers kick in, not just the water itself, but also the water is cool. So they provide an important thermal buffering for many of these aquatic ecosystems. Every degree of warming is critical for the survival of glaciers. We really are at a point at which we need to act. We need to rapidly mitigate greenhouse gas emissions. He wants the public and policymakers to understand the impact of our actions on Western Canada's glaciers. Camille Vernet, CBC News, Place Glacier near Pemberton.